And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Master of the Galaxy, uh, which is not as cool as being Master of the Universe, but anyhow, Master of the Galaxy was a very anticipated game of mine from 2018. I was really excited about it because it looked like a Euro game style uh, 4X game where you explore, expand, exploit, exterminate. I know this because it's written on the box. But it looked like you're pulling cubes from a bag and using those cubes for things. So I was very interested in that. I don't need to be this whole blow them up, bang bang type thing. I, I, I wanted maybe a, a very nice streamlined game. So I was very interested in checking this one out. So let's take a little bit of a look at it and we'll come back and see what I thought. This is the board. Each player is going to get a color, which is going to be gray, orange, purple, or brown. And you'll take a base of your color and put it on your spot. If there's fewer than four players, some planets are going to be covered up with black holes. Each player is going to get a bag matching their color. Take five cubes of each color and throw them into the bag. And on your turn, oh, then I'm sorry, also before the game, each player is going to get one of these alien species. So there's all different sorts of species. So let's take, I was going to say humans, but they're kind of boring. We'll take the crystallines. Ooh. Okay, so these guys get to put out a new base with two yellows. Four reds and two yellows get to a card. Three yellows and two blues will get me these symbols here. So on your turn, you are going to be drawing three cubes from your bag. So I'll draw three cubes randomly from my bag. I got a black, a yellow, and a red. Now what can I do with these cubes? Well, you can place them on your card. When you completely fill a row or column, you have the possibility of doing that. This, when you finish this one, you'll put a base of your color on that spot. And when you can put it out on the board, fantastic, you can. Otherwise, I might want to start completing a space route so that I can put a base out. So if I'm the brown player, I'm starting on a blue planet. If I want to go to the white planet, I could put blue or white cubes here. Here I need to put blue or yellow cubes. Here I need to put blue or red. So maybe I'll place a red one here. I'll place a yellow one here. This black cube is garbage. It's not useful at all. This is administrative stuff. So you can use these to pull cubes off the board or otherwise it's no good at all. So you're going to gather these resources and then spend them. Now once you get all the way to a planet, if you have the base, you'll be able to stick your base on that planet, establishing those roots. But you're also probably going to want to get cards. Now I should mention that there's a little black dots in some of these spots. When you pull the cubes off, these cubes are thrown out of the game which isn't very handy at all um, because unless you want to get rid of those. So, but that's also, he has a shorter path here of getting this card. When you get a card, you'll take the top two cards of that pile, look at these two cards, keep one of them, or if you don't like them, then draw the third card. These cards will uh, do different things. The yellow commerce cards will give you a special ability. So this gives you a blue for each of your constructed bases when your starting system is not involved in the conflict. They also will give you one of these symbols here. Uh, if you get enough of these symbols, you'll win the game. Each player uh, has a chance to build these symbols as one of the things on their cards. You will start with one of the symbols from your starting planet, and we keep track of them on this board up here, which uh, each player has their own symbols that they'll be using to keep track, and if you get to five, you'll win the game. Uh, also, there's progress cards. Progress cards will give you things that you can put in front of you when you gain a development card. Draw a random species card, but you have to fill them up to get them to work, just like all your other cards. And then there are expansion cards, which do, again, various things when you completely finish these up. As you get more and more bases on the board, you'll have a chance to draw leader cards. Leader cards actually can use the black cubes and do various things, and they will give you other cubes. So if I get four black cubes, this guy gives me a white cube. And so they're one way to help build up your bag, but you have to get some bases out before you get them. And you also have a chance to get government cards sometimes, and government cards will give you various things when you finish them up or have other ways to get bases or things like that. And then finally, there are conflict cards that various things can give you. A conflict card will be put between two spots on the board. Each player is trying to fill it up. Obviously, you're going to put the part that's easier to fulfill towards you. And then there will be a reward, maybe some cubes. 
Players can also place cubes on planets if you have if you control the system and you can place a cube on a planet to settle that planet and then you can throw two cubes of that color in the bag. If you put, put down a cube that matches the color of the planet, then you can put three cubes in the bag. Other ways to get cubes in your bag are to discard cards that you have in front of you. So if you discard a card in front of you, you can throw a cube of any color in the bag. You discard two cubes in front of you, you can, you can put in three cubes. And if you discard three cards, you can put in five cubes of any color that you want. There's many different ways to get supremacy symbols from different cards. Uh, also, if you control different planets on the board, if I control both of these planets here, I get this supremacy symbol. This one here, it says if I control either of these planets, but not both, I can get this symbol here. And so there are various symbols that you will get as the game goes by. The goal of this game is to get those symbols or to get all your space bases out on the board. If you get your ninth space base out, you win. If you get five of the same supremacy symbol, you win. And if you conquer a second starting system putting your base there, you will win the game. That's how you play. The cubes aren't bad. They're nice, clear cubes, and they fit in these bags. And the bags, which are frankly the best component of the game, I like how they're different colored and symboled for each of the players. Really nice bags. The cards themselves are okay. The artwork is... I don't know. I just found it to be okay. The different color cubes on the things is also okay. Hey, that's the guy from the front of the box! Um, there's some symbology. By some, I mean there's a lot. I don't know. The board itself looks cool at first, but if you take a closer look, it's just not that exciting. And then the, the cards here that give you information on how to play, they're all right, I guess. Um, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about components. They're fine. I mean, it's, it is weird that you have three different space bases, but they're exactly the same, really. There's no difference between them, and that's because they're pieces from another game Aries did. But anyway, I, they, they look fine. Nice little plastic bases, except this round one keeps rolling around. Oh, man. I, I didn't like this game. I didn't like it at all, unfortunately. Here's the deal. There's so many things about the game that sounded cool. When I first found that you had these species cards and that you would fill the, the cubes under, you draw three cubes from your bag and, okay, I'll fill these up, and then you get other cards and you decide where you're going to fill stuff, that sounds great, but there's a couple problems with that. First of all, the black cubes at the beginning of the game are terrible. And if you draw a couple of those at the very beginning of the game, not fun at all. Now, I saw someone online at a, a, basically, they made up a variant where you could throw them back in a bag and draw other cubes or something to that effect, and that would probably help that out. But that's very odd. It just, you get, you get punished at the beginning of the game for no reason. Secondly, the whole game is about pulling cubes out of your bag. It's really hard to manipulate that bag at all. So it's just random. If I want a lot of red cubes, how can I get more red cubes? I can put one on one of my starting planets, which lets me throw two in the bag. One more red cube in the bag! Idiotic. I could uh, discard cards to get more, but that requires me to get the cards first. So I spend all this work to get a card. I'm like, ooh, I can build this card. Or I can discard it to get one extra cube of that type. Or discard two, let me get two extra cubes. The leaders start giving you cubes, but by the time you get the leaders onto the board, it's just too late. There's no good way to manipulate your bag, and it's very frustrating. And there's just the cubes and the colors you need for everything just feels random. I'm sure it was probably thought through, but it doesn't feel that way. Just like I put cubes here, or I start going down this, this path to go from one planet to another planet. Oh, looks like I'm going to need more blue cubes to do that. Well, I hope I draw one from the bag at some point. Drawing three cubes randomly from a pool of 25 to randomly do actions? Ugh. So that's one problem I have with the game. The other problem is the rules. The rule book is bad. I do not understand a lot of the things I had to go through. I had to go look up online. I had to ask questions consistently to see if I was doing things right. Ah. <sighs> It was just a mess of a rule book, and the game was really hard to figure out. So add in okay production quality to a bag building game, which isn't really a bag building game, to the fact that the rule book was written very poorly, to the fact that the game just isn't fun. It just It's a big mess. You're like moving around those conflict cards. They're really mean-spirited in a sense, and the way you get them and do them, it, it, this game never feels like a 4X game. Even an abstracted one. It just feels like you're drawing cubes and hoping to get the right colors. 
I was really disappointed with this game. I really wanted to to do more with it. And again, I'm a, I'm I'm a hundred percent ready for a Euro style 4x game. I guess Eclipse is one, but I'm ready for another one. But this one just does not cut it. It is very forgettable, very boring, and honestly, just not fun. Dice Tower Judgment, it's just kind of a mess.